From Government of Telangana, first of all, I would like to congratulate organizers who are doing this uh, great program. And I would like to thank each one of you who has participated in this program. Hyderabad Plastics Expo, this is simply called Hyplex. They have been doing this for quite some time because of COVID, probably this was delayed. This year, this is happening here. 400 plus exhibitors are there. I thank all the 400 plus exhibitors who is taking part in this. Today's guests on the dais, particularly Hyplex Chairman Bandari ji and the people who are supporting from Telangana and Andhra, Tapma, Mr. Vimlesh and All India Plastics Association President Anil. They are all my friends, plastic industry friends and FTCCI President Neela Jaydev and the participants from Gail, Executive Director Srivastavaji and HMEL, MD and CEO Shri Prabhdas Ji and my friend Chandrasekhar, Additional Director from MSME. And uh, I can see many of the industrial bodies, the presidents who are sitting here, they hail from Telangana. I really appreciate the way Mr. Prabhudas has put forth how Telangana is doing. It is very evident, very visible. We need not tell anything. What is happening already you have seen. The growth story for the last nine years after formation of Telangana is incredible and that all goes the partnership, the stakeholders into this. The government is proactive, but that won't suffice. It has to be the participation of all the stakeholders, particularly the industry. The industrial growth happens with the industrial investments. Having said this, what we have done from the government is also very, very important. Immediately on formation of the state, the first and foremost enactment that happened in assembly, in fact, the assembly is going on today. My presence here is also a little bit dicey because if there are any questions in the assembly, I would have not come here. Honorable minister was supposed to participate in this, but because of assembly, he could not give time. We convey our regards from the government side, Honorable Minister side and our Principal Secretary side. I take this uh, privilege to address you all. But the important policy decision that was taken in 2014 itself, when the state was formed, that was the first enactment, that was TSI pass, which is industrial policy of a dynamic uh, nature. Generally, every state has a policy. Generally, they give the guidelines, policy framework, etc. But in our state, we made it an act by a statute. By statute, an investor has his rights. What are those rights? Telangana State Industrial Project Appraisal and Self-Certification. Based on your investor's project, we appraise it and we permit you to give your self-certification once you have the land in hand, for example, from TSIIC, Industrial Infrastructure Corporation, we allot the land every Friday. Every Friday, there is a state level allotment committee that sits and that decides on the same day and allotment is done. If there is any shortage or shortcomings in the project, we will guide you and the next Friday we will take up and we will make the allotment. This is as simple as that. And you can also buy the land outside and you can start your project without waiting for any approval. The next day itself. When I say this, this uh, sounds very, uh, very amusing or very uh, doubtful. But this is what is happening for the last nine years. 
under tiers i pass we have given 24000 approvals so far in last 8 and 1/2 years 24000 so what we mean in this we believe in the industry that when they self certify we believe that they are following all the rules and regulations of that land you are staking your money you are putting the money in in your project you don't want to lie or you don't want to be on the wrong side of the law we believe in it and that's the reason a statute is done as per the statute you are entitled for this tiers i pass there is only one platform which speaks with other 46 departments and the approvals are given well within the time that is 15 days if on 15th day if you don't get any approval it is deemed approval on 16th day you need not wait this is deemed approval this is by statute not by any policy or rule it is by statute and if uh, for any reason any officer is delaying in without any reason not talking to you or asking for some more information if he is delaying the approval he is fined by 1000 rupees every day so far we have not done because 24000 approvals were given well within the time so this is by statute we made it this really made the mind of all the officers how to work that is the reason you can also see in the government of india's ease of doing business we have been in the top all these years except for the first year first year we were at 13th position but later on next year itself we jumped into first position and we have been keeping that first position so that itself shows how proactive the government is just i thought i could, i should share with you coming to the plastics industry as uh, prabhdas garu and uh, srivasava garu has mentioned and also mr chandrashekar mentioned there are couple of challenges within the industry which needs to be addressed by you none other can do that that is the perception the perception should go but the major challenge is the disposal as rightly pointed out but from the government side we have been giving lot of uh, trust in the disposal and recycle reuse but it is not enough every one of you if you take that responsibility of making the awareness among the people how to dispose the plastic how to send it to the recycle units that is very very important very key having said this what we have done in the state also let me uh, come out with just explain to you one investor by name ganesha ecospia they came to us they said we want to set up a unit which recycles all the pet bottles that are used in coca cola or any other product they they wanted to recycle it and make the an and send it then we have given the land we have supported it as a mega project we have given all the incentives and now it is working it is recycling world's largest pet cycle recycling that is happening in their unit this is what you called circular economy so here the government is very sensitive very mindful what exactly we need to do for the betterment of the society for also to survive and support the industry that is the one reason and i am also here to share with you what kind of investments we could attract for the last 7 8 years particularly in this sector attracting uh, north indian not, uh, sorry to say but north indian investors those who are, have been working in gujarat for quite some time attracting them into the state definitely is a challenge but 
the way we are proactive the way we have been giving the approvals i am happy to share that the big plastic industries like supreme chirpal ester they have invested more than 1000 crores in each of their project i am very thankful to them that kind of environment we have created i am happy that any one of you after finding hyderabad as beautiful he said and you should also try the biryani i hope anil is providing very good biryani here hyderabadi biryani you should provide the hyderabadi biryani every day for four days let them have the, that delicious dish here having seen this i would urge you and i would request you please consider your expansions or your new projects in the state we are here to support you in terms of all the approvals in terms of the land allocation as chandrashekar was mentioning world's first probably when uh, narendra reddy used to tell me for the composites there is no exclusive industrial area across the world we have provided 120 acres 50 odd allotments small msme units they are doing very well there they are setting up their units that is called composites cluster itself and also we have done one plastic park in about 200 acres that is not sufficient that's what vimlesh bhai was mentioning he wants more i said we are ready you please come out with your proposal actually other day honorable minister also announced and said let tapma do this on their own we will provide the land the development can be taken up by tapma itself we understand here uh, one industrial federation telangana industrial federation president mr sudhir reddy is here we he came out with a proposal saying that please give me 500 acres all our telangana msme industries wants to set up their units we will organize that we will develop on our own and we will set up this industrial area we have provided 500 acres to them i am very happy if you have time in the expo i would also suggest four days sitting here will be very boring right even if 400 are there you will cover it in two days maximum to understand the new technology how the market is growing what is happening even some seminars are there but the exhibition organizer should also think of some field visit one day you should organize that having gone to a state you should also try to showcase what is happening in that state let the people understand those who are participating here otherwise the coming all over here and wasting all the time only looking at the same plastic you have been looking every day makes no sense right so i i generally propose this for the next time you should have two things in mind one is taking them around the same sector or the other sectors plans in such a way that you show one or two industrial areas or one or two very good companies which are working here that gives lot of exposure that is one second thing is we will also support from the government to take you to some tourist space places that also makes sense so otherwise four days what will you do that's my proposal probably next time you can plan so this industrial park what i was suggesting you should have seen it you will definitely appreciate and wherever you are in whatever state you are probably you will go back and urge the government to provide such facility for you also it is telangana state industrial infrastructure corporation and telangana industry federations collaborative effort and one msme park has come up so well there and there we have constructed about 1 lakh sft training center 2 lakh sft 2 lakh sft training center there for the msmes and also to display their products 
this kind of uh, support state government is giving here i think uh, if you have time in these three days if you can plan for one visit industry federation msme park i would suggest at least this time probably you can think of i am also happy that i came to know that the participation here is right from cracker to potato making units potato crushing units petrochemicals and the products the downstream the upstream everything is displayed here the complete sector is displayed here really appreciable bandari sab ye acha hai aapne sab logon ko bula ke pura yahan par display karne ke liye rakhe hain magar ye ek baat bolna bhi hai what we may be missing हमने एक छोड़ दिया शायद इसमें पब्लिक पार्टिसिपेशन भी लाना है कैसे तो आपने जैसे बताया पब्लिक अवेयरनेस ऑन द डिस्पोजल ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स यूसेज ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स हाउ प्लास्टिक्स आर इम्बाइब्ड और कम इन टू आवर लाइफ देर इज नो अदर गो वी हैव टू गो विथ लिव विथ प्लास्टिक्स बट दिस प्लास्टिक इज नॉट हार्मफुल वाई इट इज नॉट हार्मफुल वो दिखाने के लिए वो कैसा बनता है वो भी दिखाना है लोगों को उसमें मेहनत अपना कितना है अपने पैसे नॉट ओनली पैसे लगा रहे हैं अपना मेहनत भी लगा रहे हैं ये पूरा मेहनत किसके लिए फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द पीपल वी हैव टू शो केस दैट इवन इन द थ्री डी टेक्नोलॉजी द थिंग्स आर यूज आर आई कॉम्पोजिट्स आर द प्लास्टिक्स those are even going into your body as medical devices so nothing harm and it is going to help you that that message should go very clearly to the public when we have such a big expo ye agar kapde ka ho hua to sab log aate the agar this is a fashion expo or some other expo textile expo people will come apparel expo automatically they will come they don't mind uh, how and why that material is made they want only the looks and they buy it but uh, in that also there is there are so many things which are harmful to your health but people are not aware theek hai na wo usme jo dyeing karte hai what what dye what kind of dyeing they have done what kind of colors they have used what kind of chemicals are used whether that is going to harm their harm them or not uh, they are not aware they are, they won't think because they are organized in such a way we may not be able to but the product display can also go along with this and where the public can come those who are interested they again go around having made this big setup for the 400 units all three halls are not sufficient you have put two three more hangers why not one hanger be provided only for the niche plastic products display that should also come along with this then the people will slowly understand what it is what we are talking because uh, unless otherwise having only the seminars and discussing ourselves we are all already aware of what is that no need to educate again whom we need to educate the masses how to attract them that may also be considered while doing certain expos these are uh, some of my thoughts i am very thankful and i am i congratulate the organizers i am thankful to the organizer organizers and also all the participants here for uh, giving this opportunity thank you very much good day